I had so many people call and say that they love the Nat, that they love Nashville, and they want to move here. And, and uh, um, you know, you get some of those calls. I, I felt the same way before I moved there. And, and uh, you know, you get people that want to reach out and help, and, and heard about the Opry, and heard about all the things that are going on. Um, you know, you go through a range of emotions living here and going through it. It's a um, it's uh, personal. People who don't have much to give, uh, uh, reaching in and, and giving whatever they can. And I had, I had a college student go, you know, I'm, I uh, have a bunch of college bills and all this stuff going on, but I want to help. And, you know, $50 here and $25 there is, well, got us to a million dollars just a little while ago, so it's pretty incredible. Um, I was uh, playing on the East Coast, and um, the day before, uh, my biggest worry was we had just closed on a new house the day before, and, and uh, I thought, well, you know, do we have flood insurance? And luckily we did, and, um, you know, your first thoughts are about yourself, and then you start seeing it all on the news, and, and you go, wow, man, uh, it, what an incredible disaster is going on in town. And, and um, I, I got back, and, and a couple days later, after uh, the rain had stopped, and went and saw all the damage, and uh, it's all my neighbors that are affected. I mean, it's literally house to house on our streets. So, you know, you just don't know. It didn't matter where you lived. You could be affected anywhere. And, and so, um, you know, that's why I think everybody in Nashville wanted to get out and help. And I also think that Nashville has handled all of this disaster so uh, with such class and, and dignity. And, and uh, I guess that's that doesn't make for the best news headlines. So that maybe that's not why we didn't get national news headlines. But but it, it's, uh, it's a, a source of pride for me as a Nashvilleian to see us react that way, you know. Nashville uh, means everything to me. You know, I, I've lived everywhere. I, I've I've been all over the world and, and lived in several different states. But I've actually lived in Nashville longer than I've lived in any one place ever. Um, so I I consider myself a Nashvilleian at heart and soul. And um, I guess to that point, it it, it just. Uh, it, you know, it, it makes you worry about your home and your town, and, and I identify with this place more than anywhere now, and seeing pictures of, of the flooding at the Opry House and uh, the devastation at the, at the Ryman and, and, like, all of this stuff all over town, you know, it, it's our greatest landmarks, the, the you know, the Hall of Fame, the Shermahorn, uh, Opryland Hotel. It was my first job when I got to town, you know? I think like every other artist that I've ever met probably worked at the Opryland Hotel. And, and so you, you look at it and you just go, Man, uh, I can't. You can't really comprehend the devastation that's here. But um, I, again, I'm just really proud of how everybody's handled it and, and chipping in and doing something to to help people uh, who lost their whole lives here. You know, I talked to Vince Gill. Uh, I was at breakfast, and and he said that he lost. 50 guitars personally, um, you know, and that's a lifetime of a collection, you know, and as an artist and as, uh, you know, you see these guys that have great success and, and uh, um, I know they have insurance, I know they're protected and they're going to be okay, um, but the things that they lost, some of them are literally irreplaceable. I mean, they're things that there were only so many made and a lot of them were made in uh, the 50s and 60s and, and uh, um, stuff that... Uh, you know, hopefully was going to pay for some of those musicians' retirement because it's not just the Vince Gills of the world that lost money, lost stuff or Kenny Chesney's of the world. It's a lot of studio musicians and a lot of guys that, you know, um, were counting on vintage instruments uh, literally as they're going to be their retirement. They were saving those things and, and now they're lost. And so it's a, um, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's incredibly hard to see them lose their livelihood. And also, just as... A, a, a collector and a guy that loves guitars and, and uh, mu music pieces, it's, it's just an, an, a huge loss because some of the best instruments in the world are right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and, and uh, you know many collections were, were completely devastated. The music does uh, have a healing hand in some of this stuff, and, and I see people writing songs about it and, and helping somebody else cope with uh, that loss, I think is what um, songwriters do best, and, and uh, we've got a whole town full of that. and I. I um, expect that uh, you know um, somebody's going to get a lot out of some songs that are being written right now about exactly what's going on.